Hi, everybody. Um, I found out that evidently y'all couldn't hear me when I did the card flip through on the Divine Abundance deck. So I'm redoing it. Hopefully you can hear me this time out. And um, give me a minute. Let me switch out cameras and we'll take it from there. Okay, starting out, allowing, let's see, let me move this over a little bit. It says, radical acceptance says yes to reality in any given moment, so what's needed can come next. Next is awakening. Oh, my Lord, wake me from life as a, as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. Change. When the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. That's very true. Clearing. As true offering arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from mine, mine, mine to gods, gods, gods. Such freedom. Companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. Courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. Deepening. Once you're on earth for enough lifetimes, your old soul will begin to long for non-grasping, detachment, and surrender. They bring the peace of God. Delusion. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. Detachment. Oops. I can't read it if I push it off the screen. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside, with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. Divine abundance. You were born to align with love's will. Follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundance, not chase it. Divine flow. Eventually, one sublime desire takes precedence over all others to follow the Tao, the divine flow, at all costs. Divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. Divine source. Help me know that all my deepest needs will be met. Let me trust that you have a plan and the right actions will come. You are my source for all. Ease. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. Energetic clearing. During crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her luminous plan. Expansiveness. Eternity is far more creative than the rigid, constrained, and exhausted ego. Extraordinary. There's a wild and impetuous uniqueness to you that deserves to be honored. Faith. Miraculously, amazingly, everything I need always comes. Love is opening me to receive beyond anything I imagine. Flow. 
allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. Freedom. I no longer want this fiery ring of resentment to block the good. Release me from his bonds. Oh, that's powerful. Gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for you wherever I go. Grief. Tears are what happen when the ice in the heart melts. Yeah. Grounded. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. Guidance. When you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. Humility. Allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. Individuality. Every person has their own personalized study plan in this earth school. Inner child. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. Inner power. Give me the courage and the power to do what must be done. Intuition. Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense move moment to moment what's needed. Invite help. Invite the divine to pursue you. Seriously, just say, I'm finally ready, God, pursue me. Karma. There's nothing from a past life that can't be addressed in the current life. Letting go. Everything is indeed out of control and God will hold it all. I can safely let go. Liberation. The doubts and fears still come up. You don't believe anymore that they're you. Limitless. See yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything and anyone. Loss. Sometimes you learn true offering through loss. You make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring her own plan instead of the egos. Well, this is hitting me right at home today. Love, divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. Non-duality. Let your authentic humanity shine forth while also bowing to the inner divine. You can become fluent at doing both. Outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open to receive it. Receiving. Every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. Reframe. This is happening for me, not to me. Right action. A paragraha literally means let everything that wants to go, go, and everything that wants to come, come.
right now. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled each moment. Sacrifice. Sometimes surrender is painful. God's cutting away all that needs to go elope to go. Illusions, obsessions, addictions. It's a sacrifice to love. Sanctity. Through offering, even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament. <coughs> Excuse me. Self-love. Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never before. Signs. Instincts are the message from the inner divine. Surrender. Sometimes learning to surrender can feel as if you're dying. The ego learns what's hardest to stop trying to control the whole universe. <coughs> True offering. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and return it to love. Trust. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. Worth. You have been worthy to belong to love all along without any need to improve. In fact, you are love itself. Your path. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan for beyond, that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. All righty. There. Oh, there I am. <laughs> okay. We finished that up. Hopefully y'all can hear it this time. I'm going to go and download this and uh, try to get it up today so that for those who were interested in this deck and had uh, messaged me and told me they couldn't hear me because evidently my microphone was acting up. It's when I still had the old mic. I got a new one now. Um, so hopefully that takes care of the issue. Again, if you have problems hearing me or understanding what I'm saying, please feel free to message me. Say something in the comments below. You won't hurt my feelings. I would much rather you tell me that you can't hear me or that you don't understand what I'm saying. If I get too growly, sometimes my voice starts giving out on me. Um, there's not a lot I can do about that except take another sip of water and maybe not talk for a few minutes, which is difficult to do for me. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoy this. Um, this is what the, let me see, get it up here. Will it show? This is what the box looks like. Divine Abundance. It's, um, it's done by Tasha Silver. And the art is by Fina Gonzalez. I probably said that wrong. Forgive me. Anyway, it's a really lovely deck. I've really enjoyed using it. Um, I've kind of been using it for personal, kind of every day. I sit and shuffle it in the morning and then pull a card just to see. And um, it tends to hit pretty close to home, sometimes painfully. So, um, so y'all have a lovely afternoon. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my vacation and hopefully get an insurance settlement this week so I can replace my car that got wrecked. So y'all have a great day and I will see everyone soon. Bye for now.